Dr. Steenbach. He's a speaker all over the world. He has been known for some very wonderful innovations over the years. He's written papers on them, and he has discovered the values of stem cell therapy and is pushing the envelope in the United States. It happens that he's here locally in Michigan, Yale. My friend and yours, Dr. David Steenbach. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming. I have a, my own stem cell laboratory. I have my own stem cell biologist, Dr. Ma, over here from China. She just got back yesterday, uh, and she's been over there canvassing all the Chinese stem cell laboratories, uh, identifying what's going on over there because uh, they've got a few things that are ahead of us. They've got government-sponsored uh, spending on, on umbilical cord stem cells and, and bone marrow stem cells and whatnot. So they've got a, and, and they're using them clinically on thousands of patients already. So they're way ahead of us in terms of stem cells in China. And so uh, we're trying to catch up with them, make sure that uh, they're not ahead of us on anything. In general, I think we're right there with them in terms of bone marrow. Now, bone marrow stem cells are a different, whole different issue. Turns out that if you take the bone marrow out of your hip with a needle, I just put a local anesthetic in here, put a needle in there. If you're having too much pain, I give you a little morphine or whatnot. In general, it's very non-painful, very easy procedure to do. We take that bone marrow, put it into a bag of salt water, basically, and put it back into you through a vein. Simple. Takes about three hours to do. Okay. Now, what we do is we do not manipulate it. We don't take and put in all kinds of gobbledygook into the stem cells, your bone marrow. We just put it in directly. The treatment is best for osteoarthritis, in my experience. We've seen patients within 24 hours have relief of their pain. They're on morphine and Demerol, and within 24 hours they're out of pain which to me, I think, is a miracle. They've been, you know, they're crying to me about how painful they are, and they're taking so much drugs, and within 24 hours, they're out of pain. I think that's remarkable, uh, and that's just with one treatment. Now, the trouble with, uh, with all of uh, what we're doing is that there are some things besides soil that we talk about, and, and, and those are the nutrition and the growth factors. So to have good results, we need you to be a child. Now, in other words, uh, because if you stop and think about it, what tissue grows best? Children. Babies are growing best. The children are growing best. Why is that? Because they're full of growth factors. We measured the different growth factors in people from the time they're children all the way up to 92 or 3. And we found that the person who's 90 has virtually no growth factors in their system, or very little. You can hardly measure them, whereas a child will have Values are like 10,000. One of my patients tells jokes, one after another after another. I never have been good at jokes. I always try to memorize science rather than jokes. I don't know, it seemed like always a waste to spend my time learning jokes. Now I really should have been. Because <laughs> I need to tell a joke right now. But in any case, the bone marrow uh, has, like I say, all of the ingredients that we need for fixing joints cartilage, the discs in your spine, uh, it can be uh, the mesenchymal stem cells that are present have a, an autoimmune effect. They have a, a, an effect on inhibiting the inflammatory processes of your body. So if you have inflammation, it down-regulates the inflammation in your body so you have less and less inflammation. If you have different autoimmune diseases, it can help with that. If you have, uh, like I mentioned, if you have any kind of, like, uh, for example, one of the most common conditions of the older person is congestive heart failure. Congestive heart failure is, is one of these that, uh, you know, there's drugs, and then there's drugs, and then there's drugs, and maybe some other drug. We have to try this, try that. Now, that one didn't work. Why don't you come back next week after you try this one? Well, next week we'll try these two together. And the week after that is we'll try these three. Now, uh, and oftentimes they forget about putting you on oxygen because what's happening is when you're having congestive heart failure, you don't get enough oxygen, so your brain doesn't work, and you can't sleep well, so you wake up at night because you can't get, get enough oxygen. That activates your sympathetic nervous system. You get all hyped up, and you wake up, and you can't sleep all night, so now you get tired. So now you're tired all the time because you've got chronic heart failure, and the doctor doesn't diagnose you because he doesn't understand that congestive heart failure causes poor oxygenation. Poor oxygenation is a very common in the older person. 
And if you haven't ever had a test, if you're over 60 or 70 here, probably some of you might be over that 70 years of age. If you are over 70, if you haven't had a nocturnal oximetry test, you should have one. <laughs> Especially if you're falling asleep right now. <laughs> nocturnal oximetry test is a test that you take home at night. It's a little tape recorder. You can call up my office and we'll set up as free. Hey, you can't beat that. And it just tells you whether or not you're getting enough oxygen at night. And oxygen at night is very important. You know, as you go to sleep, your oxygen level falls. Every one of us falls, our oxygen falls about 10% at night, generally. But if we're getting older, if we have any kind of disease or poor blood flow in our brain, it goes even lower. And if it goes lower, then that starts to get down to the point where it actually causes brain damage and causes hypertension and all kinds of problems. And if you just identify that and go on oxygen, it can change your whole life. Yeah. Nocturnal? It's like just nocturnal is like, you know, what happens at night. Mm -hmm. Oximetry, O-X-I-M-E-T-R-Y, oximetry. Medicare pays for, if you do need oxygen, then, and if that test is positive, then Medicare will pay for your oxygen. And so, but then of course you should also see me about why you have that in the first place and what you can do to stop that and correct it. Because it is usually a circulation problem. So why is that? Why do we get poor circulation? Well, yeah, it's poor diet. We eat too many fatty foods and smoke too many cigarettes and we don't exercise and all that. But there's another reason, and that is that our stem cells get old. And our stem cells, as they get older, they have an influence on the arteries in your body. And how do they do that? It's because every day, all the time, you're having stem cells come out of your bone marrow, circulate in your bloodstream, going throughout your whole body, fixing things. So every day you have this continual repair process that's going on in your body, trying to fix you and make you new again. Unfortunately, as you see in the mirror, it's not doing too well. <laughs> right? I'm sorry, God made us perfect. But then after that, things went to hell, you know? So, in other words, you start aging right away at, at birth. And, uh, and as you get older and older, those stem cells do not work as well. In fact, there's getting to be less and less of them. They become less and less prolific. They become less and less powerful in terms of repairing. Now, some secrets that we've learned. Dr. Ma has helped me in this very much. She's like my right hand in the stem cell laboratory, and she helps me identify what is going on in you. And so we do a blood, we can do a blood count and measure your stem cells. You know, next week you want to come in, we can do a stem cell count on you. I'm going to charge you though, because it costs me like a lot of money to do this. So it's going to cost you money if you wanted to do just a stem cell count, but we can do that. And so you come in and we're going to do a bone marrow transplant. We do a stem cell count on you beforehand. We measure the stem cells in your blood. We measure them in your bone marrow. And we measure them before and after. And then we can follow you subsequently to see how you do. And we can measure the effectiveness of how they work in the laboratory too because we, try, we can try to grow them. And an old person with a lot of problems who doesn't keep themselves healthy and is not staying healthy and don't have, they don't have any growth factors, they're not going to be able to grow, we, we're not going to be able to grow their stem cells in the laboratory at all. So oftentimes, the first time you come, if you have a stem cell, we've had older people with problems, they come in, we take their stem cells, we try to culture them and grow them, and no growth. And, and we've got plenty of stem cells, we count them, look at, look, we got 1% stem cells, and yet they're not growing. Why is that? It's because of the lack of growth factors in your body. Okay, so what we have to do is, when we give them back to you, that's good. What happens, you come back a month later, we check and measure and do another one, and we culture those same stem cells. We think they're the same. Now they actually start to grow. So one bone marrow transplant makes you, your bone marrow stem cells so much more healthy because you've added stem cell growth factors to all of the other cells. For some reason, it activates the stem cells. And the next time we do it, they start to grow. The third time, they're even better, and they grow quite nicely. So just the mere fact of doing the stem cell treatment over and over again stimulates your own bone marrow stem cells to become healthier so they can regenerate your body better and better. And that is, I think, a, an amazing discovery that some of you should wake up for. <laughs> well, thank you very much, everybody. It was a great pleasure. I'm sorry I didn't have great slides, but don't forget to pick up my book at the uh, front uh, there. And thank you very much.